In this video, we will talk about the upcoming IPO of Jyoti CNC Automation. So the subscription for the IPO is set to open on Jan 9th and close on Jan 11th and the allocation of shares is, is expected on Jan 12th. The IPO consists entirely of fresh issue totaling about 1000 crore and the price band for the shares has been set at a range of 315 rupees to 331 rupees. Jyoti CNC has reserved 75% of the IPO size for qualified institutional buyers, 15% for high net worth individuals and the remaining 10% for retail investors and the minimum lot size is about 45 shares. Now moving on to the objectives of the issue, about 47% of the net proceeds from the IPO will be used to repay some of the company's debt. The rest will be directed towards working capital requirements and general corporate purposes. Now let's talk about the company's business. They specialize in manufacturing computer numerical control machines. Now these machines are essentially run by a digitalized computer, automating, monitoring and controlling the movement of industrial machines. Now this is a big deal in industries like aerospace, automotive and medical where precision is key. The company is a predominant manufacturer of 5-axis CNC machines offering over 200 variants across 44 series. Now, Jyoti CNC's customer base also includes big names like ISRO, Tata Advanced Systems, Bharat Forge, Bosch, Turkish Aerospace and many more. Now, in terms of market share, Jyoti CNC holds the third largest market share in India, accounting for approximately 10% in fiscal year 23. Globally, they're the 12th largest, holding about 0.4% of the market share in calendar year 2022. Now, the global CNC machining center's market was around $31.6 billion in 2022 and projections suggest it's expected to reach about $51.5 billion by 2027, growing at a CAGR of 10.3%. Now, Jyoti CNC Automation is positioning itself to leverage its expertise in the production of CNC machining centers, specifically those equipped with up to, up to five axes. Globally and in India, there's an estimated 18.4% growth expected in the four to six axis machining center market between fiscal year 23 and fiscal year 27. Now let's talk about the company's business segments. The company has a diversified portfolio that spans across various sectors, including aerospace, automotive, general engineering, EMS and Dyson molds. As of September 2023, Jyoti CNC boasts an order book of Rs. 3,315 crores and a substantial portion of this order book comes from the aerospace and defence segment. The company's revenue concentration has also shifted towards its major clients in recent quarters and the top three clients alone contribute about 32% of the revenues in the first half of the financial year 2024 from 13.95% in 2023. Now coming to the company's financials, the company recorded a CAGR growth of 17.3% in terms of revenue from fiscal year 21 to fiscal year 23. The gross margin remained upwards of 40%, which means that 40% of business revenues is left after deducting for direct costs. The EBITDA margin also saw consistent growth across all three years. When looked at the bottom line, Jyoti CNC saw losses of 70 and 48.3 crores in fiscal year 21 and fiscal year 22 respectively. They turned profitable in fiscal year 23 and generated a profit of Rs 15 crores. However, in fiscal year 23, the company reported an exceptional gain of Rs 30.4 crore due to waiver of loan. Now, if we exclude these exceptional gains, the company would have ended up in losses in fiscal year 23 too. Now, another important thing to note is that the company employs a significant amount of debt with about 821 crores recorded in the quarter ending September 2023. As a result of this, they carry a high debt to equity ratio of 3.25 times. Now, it also has a low debt service coverage ratio, which measures the firm's available cash flows to pay its loan obligations. Now, when compared against its peers, the company is ranked fourth largest in terms of revenues, but has one of the lowest earnings per share among its peers. With an upper price band of Rs 331, the company trades at a P ratio of 325 times which is relatively high compared to its peers and the industry average. Overall, two things an investor needs to keep an eye on is the massive debt and a high valuation in comparison to its peers. Having said that, this is me Malzana signing off. Take care and stay invested. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app Informed Investor to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.